Oops. Good morning. I pushed the button by accident. I just got done. Oh. So, who's the meteorologist? I guess you guys got to go to two fucking courts and sh and have this lying, some lying bullshit, friggin' <sighs> snowstorm bullshit. This is fucking ridiculous. They they're messing with me. I take it you all, all you assholes will be in court this morning, right? All you assholes gonna be in court this morning? Huh? Without me? Because you're a coward and won't even face me? You paying some other lying doctor off? Who else did you threaten? Helen Rosen? Helen Rosen, right? Did you pay her? She's the one that told me what my husband was doing and said that everybody would help me. Then I seen some big black at, black dude. I know it was him. I can picture you. I, and I can identify you by your features. You're about a six foot five black guy. Um, about 250 pounds. Maybe 200 he was a big, stocky, black dude. Put it that way. He was about... Let me see. He had khaki pants on. And he was walking up the steps. So, and he went there and probably threatened her after I, after I saw her. After she saw me. After I saw her that day. And I should have stopped and thought about it because he acted kind of shady when he came into the building. Now, I can identify you if I seen you. The black guy, African American, approximately between, I mean, he might be like six foot three, approximately 250 pounds. 220, he's a, he's heavy, 230 pounds, yep, going in and threatening everybody, so, I don't know who you're talking about, but Helen Rosen says she's from Philadelphia, and she was, they were gonna, she, she was getting a place to rent, or something like that, Oh, the last time I talked to her, she was trying to get rent together for her apartment that she was living in, in Philadelphia. She has a, a an office in Philly and an office in Jersey. So I don't know how many more people you think you're going to pay off, but every one of them will go down for fraud. Medical fraud. And for and falsifying documents. So I can't. I can. I sh I can go to fucking class. Why? There's no reason not to have class today. None. Somebody needs to fire the freaking meteorologist and get a new one. Cause obviously she's not doing her job. She's retarded. Oh look, it's this storm coming in. Oh my God. Oh women. Drive me friggin' nuts, they do. Even though I'm probably, I foresaw myself with a female partner. So obviously I have a compatibility with a female friend, a uh, investigator. Because we have things in common. You know that she thinks the same way I do. So anyway, I'd probably be working with a female. I don't know. I should be no reason. 
you will go down for every fraudulent bullshit that happened. Alright, so good morning world. I'm in my PJs. I am going to try to read some more. I was reading stuff on some more mob assholes who think they're going to get away with their what, what they're doing. Past people. From the past, because the past comes up and bites everybody in the ass. Because I keep having dreams of these old men in boats that are getting hurt. I'm still sick, obviously. So what other kind of lies do you have? All I know is somebody needs to redo something with this freaking weather. Because they obviously can't predict it properly. They're trying to say they have a... A spring storm like my daughter did in 1996. Bitch, you didn't have a kid and your child didn't die ten days bef uh, two days before Mother's Day. You had a baby. The bitch is not even white and she had a kid on May 10th. Your daughter didn't die on May 10th. You had a daughter born on May 10th, bitch. And you're a fucking liar. And you will go to jail. Face it. The inevitable foreseeability. You're going to jail, little bitch. You're going to prison. Or you'll kill yourself and leave, like, what, three kids behind? It's fine. Because you're a liar. <clears throat> How many years you been lying? Eight. How many years you been stalking me? Oh, um, 13, if not longer. Stupid bitch is getting pregnant every year it's just so that she can stay out of jail. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Truth be told. Peace be with us. Good morning. God bless you all. My kids are sleeping. My son is not home. I guess they sent him home long enough to hack into my computers and get enough information of me yelling and screaming at the world and doing this. Cursing somebody out. But that's all right. You'll fall down for every time you get something. What? You don't think Billy's not going to get punished for acting like a, uh... <clears throat> oh my gosh, it just went out my brain. I say it all the time. Acting like an agent coming in my house. Coerced. Bribed. Threatened. Truth be told. God bless. Be safe out there. Thank you to my brothers and sisters in Christ. <sighs> Amen. Now, I'm going to be here. I'm going to email my teacher and find out. I emailed my teacher from last night. But, I don't know. I emailed my uh, casino crimes teacher to find out. Because we only have class one night a week. And, obviously, we weren't there for the last two weeks. So, um, I want to see if we can get information. So, be safe, okay? Good morning. Good night. And have a great day. Good morning, good night. Wait, good morning, good afternoon, and good night if I don't see you. What's that? I'm going to sense something else. Amen. Peace, love, and happiness.